Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in this morning. So this morning we've got a brand new Cimarron sitting behind me. It's a 2022 Cimarron North Star three horse gooseneck. Now, this one's a little bit different. Uh, what what a customer actually did was call in to see what we had on order. And we carry quite a few of these three horses, four horses on order in inventory or on order at any time. But what she did is we took an existing order. There was still time to make some changes. So she put her own flair to the trailer, put her own touches to it, added a few options that we'll walk you through and show you this. So that's something that you can do here. We have a lot of trailers on order. Uh, they're at a point sometimes that we can't make changes besides minimal changes, uh, but sometimes we can go through and kind of make some big ones, or we can just start from the beginning, a custom build for you. But again, we had this three horse on order, this North Star. Let's take a look at the drawing because I want to show you kind of some dimensions before we jump into it too far. So what we've got is again, a three horse with a front tack room. This trailer is 18.3 on the floor. It is 6.10 wide, it is 7.1 tall. And again, with that front dressing room, it's a four foot short wall with a four foot offset. So nothing completely, you know, really out of the ordinary right there. It's just a pretty basic setup. But again, she kind of put her own touches to the trailer that I'll show you as we walk through it here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start here at the front, <clears throat> pretty standard. We've got a single leg manual hand crank jack. Does have the spring assist when it does, when you go ahead and pull the pin up on the foot. One thing that I really like is this, this is the handle for it. Again, nothing out of the ordinary on this, but this will double as a lug wrench for you. So if you do have to change a tire on the road, you've got this with you on hand. It just stores right over here knock on wood I've only had one customer ever lose it and I think it's because he said he let somebody borrow it and they didn't give it back to him but you know once it's down in there it stores really good uh, again haven't had anybody say they've physically lost one driving down the road this is another thing this is real small but there's this plastic piece right here this is actually for our seven pin to store in so it's not dangling it's out not in the elements it actually slides right in there now i've got it hooked up to our jumper right now so we can show you the lights but it slides in just a small touch uh, we've actually had quite a few customers see this have us order these in for them to put them on their existing trailers even if they're not a cimarron brand they just really like that spare tires located to the right of that jack as, uh, as we're looking at the back of the trailer. Now, before we get in too far into this tack room, I'm gonna get this door out of the way. <clears throat> Cause this is something that we do here at Trans West. Uh, now this is an option on all Cimarron's, but this is something that we take a look at on every single trailer in today's market. And that's this gooseneck drop wall height. And the reason why is if you've noticed over the last few years, every truck manufacturer has gone up in truck height, especially bed height. Dodge and Fords were always kind of ahead. GMs were, you know, they were a little bit better, uh, but on their brand new body styles, they've gone up two inches. So what happens is, is when we have a truck bed taller, we have to worry about bed clearance. So from the bottom of the gooseneck deck here to the top of the bed, we want realistically on this size of a trailer, I'm gonna shoot for about six and a half to eight inches, eight and a half. So if I put my thumb on there and my pinky on there, that's about eight and a half inches if we're looking at a truck. That's what I ideally want on this. Six and a half is doable, um, but that's what we're gonna shoot for. So the industry standard has been 50 inches. It was 47 in the early 2000s, but the trucks got taller, so the trailers adjusted to it and went to 50. Well, it's happening again, so we need to adjust. So we've gone in on these size of trailers, gone in and made this 53 inches. So we can have plenty of bed clearance, adjust our coupler how we need it to for that bed clearance, but also running level on our two axles. You have two axles, we want equal weight distribution on those. You paid for two, let's use them both. We don't want it nosed way up, running on the back axle. What you can notice is, is on older trailers, on newer trucks, one of two things is probably gonna happen. They have minimal bed clearance because they have the trailer running level or the trailer's nosed up to get bed clearance. But again, all that weight's running on that back axle. So again, we take it a case by case basis, but typically on these type of trailers, we're gonna make this a 53 inch gooseneck drop. 
on our air ride trailers, our 17 5 inch wheels, our 19 5 inch wheels, we won't do that because already everything's up a little bit taller, especially in our air rides. It's actually going to air it up about two and a half inches when we go ahead to, to actually pull it down the road. So again, a small little feature that's something that we look at on a case by case basis, but we do it a lot on these Cimarron's. So this is going to be a 42 inch wide door. Standard's 32. We can go 36, but this one's a 42. And the reason why 42 is because we have a swing out saddle rack on this front tack room. Like I mentioned, this is a four foot short wall and we have a four foot offset. So this is an eight foot long wall. But as you can see, swing out saddle rack, everything's right out here for you. These are adjustable saddle pads so we can move them up and down. We can add more if we want. But I also want you to notice that 42 inch door, I can still walk in and out of this trailer. A lot of manufacturers, that door frame will be right here. It's real difficult getting in and out if that is swung out. We also like the 42 inches for these swing outs because of this clearance right here. You know, we're not having saddles hitting this door frame as we come out. Uh, but this is a nice little touch on these swing out saddle racks is the 42 inch door. Then we can put a four tier blanket pole rack, a brush tray on the door. This guy's also on a gas shock, so a little easy to use. You can slide them on, swing them out, uh, have that flexibility there, brush tray for your smaller miscellaneous items, fly sprays, brushes, anything like that there. So as we come into this tack room, you'll notice there's another door on this other side. So normally on these trailers, we're gonna have a solid wall right over here, but the customer wanted dual access doors. This has become really popular. Uh, on this one here, of course, our saddle racks are on passenger side, but we do have an entrance here on driver's side as well. You've got some hooks all carpeted behind them. I also like these low ones over here as well because you know a lot of times you can just open up this door, reach in, grab it, and shut the door and go if you need to grab a halter or anything like that. Um, but having that carpet behind it, you know, it's not going to scuff up the wall. It's not going to scuff up tack. Also, it's important because as that tack rubs against this aluminum wall right here, it's going to create noise. So this is going to help eliminate that noise because our horses are on the other side of this wall when we're traveling. So that's a nice touch right there. You've got your carpet up here on your gooseneck deck as well. <clears throat> You've got dual windows. I like that because if you throw a mattress up here or sleep in here, I'm not going to get claustrophobic. I want to be able to see out. You can all also open up those windows, create a cross breeze. I'll, I'll get into this uh, insulated roof here in a little bit, um, but it will keep you nice and cool. And then over here to the left, we've got a closed bar that extends quite a ways up into this neck. And one, uh, one of the other things is a lot of the competitors out there, they're their neck depth or length is 7.6 to 7.8. Cimarron standard is 8.2. So a lot deeper, a lot longer neck as well. I think that's another reason why these Cimarrons pull so well is that, that added length to that neck there. So we can kind of help balance that weight out. And then she's got a 12 inch boot box that runs this entire gooseneck drop wall from side to side. So great for smaller items. They're not bouncing around in this tack room, kind of keeping a little bit cleaner, a little bit more organized. And it works as a great step jumping up into that gooseneck area. So a couple things. So since we have dual doors, there is a light switch on each side, which is fantastic. Anytime we do these, you know, dual entrances or multiple entrances into a tack room, it's nice to have a light switch on each side because if you're loaded up with stuff and that's the only switch over at that door and you're trying to come through this way, you gotta crawl over everything. That's a small feature, but I really like that. Then she upgraded to a pass-through door. So normally we have this as a solid partition wall here, but she wanted a pass-through door to be able to go from the tack room into the stall area or vice versa. And then another upgrade is a corner water tank. Now we do that quite a bit on our inventory trailers, uh, but it's, it's really handy to have because that's 25 gallons of water capacity for you. It's just gravity feed, so no pump needed, anything like that. You can just drain it by sticking a hose out the, the door here and opening it up. But if you have finicky horses, you're traveling, you're going to events where water's not easily accessible where you're parking, it's nice to have that on hand for you.
Now we've gone in and we've given you a 16 inch awning light out here on the outside as a load light. I like these awning lights because they're not the pedestal type that sit on top of that rail and kind of protrude out and up. You go underneath the tree and you can just take one off. These are somewhat flush against the trailer that they shoot down and out. A lot of light coverage there, but LEDs uh, on each side of the trailer in the rear as well. Then we've got our hooks, bus windows that we'll talk about a little bit more when we get into the inside. Two 6,000 pound rubber torsion Dexter axles. Aluminum wheels are standard on Cimarron, so it really dresses these trailers up. These are nitrogen filled tires. So PSI levels are going to fluctuate drastically like air will. You can put air to these tires if need be. If you have a slow leak or caught a nail, anything like that, you can put air to them. But it really helps because PSI levels fluctuating drastically will cause blowouts. So they use these on jumbo jets, I mean just commercial planes in general, the nitrogen filled. So think about the altitude changes, the temperature changes they're dealing with. You have that as well. So let's talk about these tires a little bit. The vendor that Cimarron uses stands behind them. One year, no questions asked. You catch a nail that can't be patched, you have a blowout, you catch road debris, you take some pictures of this and they'll send you a brand new tire, no questions asked within one year. You have two years of roadside assistance as well. And then this is a brand new feature. Uh, these, they've gone from a standard on these from a Westlake tire to a Goodyear tire. So these Goodyears that we're looking at right here are manufactured here in the USA. Now, it used to be where the price point was so drastic between those Westlakes and Goodyears, but what we're dealing with, with freight, getting those tires across you know, the sea as far as that goes, the price point's almost identical, so now we can go with a Goodyear that's manufactured here in the USA. So that's a brand new one that you'll start seeing on some of these Cimarron's is these Goodyear's on these 16 inch wheels right here. So as we get to the back, again, I'm gonna show you a couple things that she upgraded to. Typically, in our inventory, when we have a swing out saddle rack set up like this one does have, we won't have a rear tack room on it. So this has a folding rear tack, so she added that back into the trailer. We'll do some setups with a folding rear tack and a front dressing room, but then we make that post to be able to move between the two so we don't do the swing out setup. So what she did is she went in, she added this folding rear tack room to it. Now what she also did was she added locations for the floor and the ceiling that if she ever did want to add a second post for saddle pads, for blanket bars, anything like that, it's already there. All she has to do is buy the post and whatever component she wants to right there. So this is great for some additional storage for her, but if for some reason she doesn't want that additional storage, she wants this kind of out of the way. As you can see, it is real simple to just break down and push over against the wall and lock into place. Now we have a little bit bigger opening right here. Maybe you want to throw a mare and a foal on the back. Maybe you've got a horse that has a little companion buddy to stick back here. You can do that as well. This will completely remove if you want to. There are pins on the hinges. We can remove it. It's kind of a two-person job just because of the awkwardness of the size. It's not really that heavy, but it is easier when you do have some help. So here's an upgrade that she did compared to what we had on order. She wanted the airflow dividers and then she padded these. So pads can be done after the fact. So even if we have a trailer sitting here, doesn't have the pads and you want those on there, our parts and service department can help you out with that. But she opted to just go ahead and have that done right here when she comes to pick up the trailer. The other thing is first divider is a stud divider. That's standard. Um, again, she just changed it to an airflow. The cool thing about these stud dividers are, since it goes to the floor, if you just use this for additional storage, we don't have to worry about items getting underneath horses in transit. You've got the ability to hop in through the escape door and grab those items, or through this pass-through door. Now, it does swing in. Now, pass-through doors do need to swing into the stall area. And why that's important is because if this swings into the tack room, the only thing that's really holding it is gonna be that little latch right there to where when it's on the inside of the staller and swings into it, 
this door is actually pushing against the frame. So if you have a horse leaning on it, you know, it, again, it's not just the handle. So pa uh, passenger door is going to swing in towards us. Let's talk a little bit about this structure. In my opinion, the quickest and easiest way to tell quality of a trailer is the floor. Crawl underneath there and look at it. There are these I-beams called centers that run across the trailer the entire length. When centers start spreading apart, in my opinion, that's a cheaper made trailer. Not as much material, not as much strength. So think about six inch, eight inch, nine inch, 12 inch centers. Uh, as a horse stands on it, they're, they're not standing on a support beam. That's where you get those pits and waves over time. Uh, urine can settle in those and start really eating and corroding at that floor. On a Cimarron trailer, we're standing on a 12 inch extruded deck board that locks in high and low, so it's tongue and groove, but they're four inch centers. There's a truss in the middle. It's 60% shear force strength stronger than their previous floor that was four inch centers. So this one, they've even, they had the best floor on the market and then they improved it. So wherever we have a horse standing on a Cimarron trailer, they're standing on a support beam. Same goes for a cattle trailer, same goes for their hog and lamb and goat trailers. Every single Cimarron is built the exact same way, same floor. So industry's best floor, we have the strongest upright posts, and then we cap it off with an insulated roof. So we talked briefly about that up front there. This insulated roof is standard on every Cimarron as well. Keeps our stall area about 20% cooler than aluminum sheeted roofs. I can jump on that roof, I can walk on it, I can't din it. It'll take substantial hail, but in my opinion, the most important thing about that roof is the stall temperature. Keeping animals nice and comfortable. Uh, we have put some thermometers in trailers here on the lot in the summertime, 95 degrees out here on this asphalt, horse trailers that are all sealed up and we peek through the windows and there is usually a pretty decent temperature difference between a Cimarron and another brand. Uh, so it does make a difference when you step in these. If you see us at some shows sometimes in those hot summer months, we might have an easy up tent outside with a fan but it's cooler in the trailer. So you'll see us kind of working our way that way and sitting in the trailer itself. But I want you all also notice, even like the paddle latches, everything's smooth. You know, they're flush mount. So, you know, nothing protruding out. They even round these edges. I mean, we don't want any 90 degree angles, nothing sharp, nothing pointy, nothing protruding out. So these are powder coated, cast aluminum heavy UHMW plastic paddle latch so we don't have that metal to metal contact when we have that divider shut and it's really safe for you it's really safe for the horses because all I have to do is just push it and slam it shut and then to release I just grab the paddle and back it comes so I'm not having to hold this in place with a horse leaning against it I'm trying to get a pin dropped into it or you know messing with that type of stuff so again safer for the horses safer for you and again, everything in these Cimarron, so the dividers, everything has a radius. These air flows, these posts right here have a radius to them as well. These are, if we have to do anything on a Cimarron, we have to special order these in with this radius already on there because everything wants to be a 90 degree and it's sharper. So everything is nice and smooth. So animal safety comes first and foremost. And then they stand behind the product. So we have an eight year structure warranty with a three year hardware. So they cover it three years from nose to tail. Again, I told you about the tires. Uh, that is fantastic. You know, things happen when you're traveling. So we've had customers call, hey, I hit something on the road. Hey, I got a, 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 a nail that punctured the tire. Uh, it could have been patched, but it actually caught the sidewall. So they won't patch it real simple we get them a new tire sent in the mail and and uh, drop shipped directly to them so it's really cool that they stand behind them there and here's a good look at these drop windows so we have drop windows at one two and three the first one's a little bit smaller because it's in the escape door itself some manufacturers will just do a bus window right here they don't want to mess with the framework the hinges and that the ability for it to drop down. Cimarron does, so it's a nice heavy duty drop window there. And then you get these big massive framed windows at two and three with the jail bars that fold down. Very simple to operate. 
Just lift up a little bit, find that sweet spot, they just drop right back in that track. And a real solid seal when you go to shut them. They use a lot of weather stripping, making sure we don't get moisture back in there. They've added a drip rail above all tack doors and these drop windows. That's not just a piece of aluminum that's added after the fact. They are having that, ext that extrusion built with that in. And all those are for is above drop windows, above tack doors. But as you see, the welds are phenomenal. You have welded hinges with grease certs, so a lot easier to maintain as well. There's actually a groove in this pin. So when we open and close, it's actually trying to feed all that, that grease throughout that hinge itself. And then there's a good look at this driver's side door going into that tack room. It's a 32 inch door. For what we need for framework, we, we have to have a minimum of a four foot short wall on this driver's side here to, to have a door entrance. So for our framework ahead of it and behind it, a 32 inches are minimum, but you can do it on a four foot short wall just like this one here. So again, a really cool little three horse. Again, she took an inventory piece, made her changes to it. We were at that point, moved her up to get her taken care of as, as early as we could in our schedule. So we can do that for you as well. So if you're interested in this trailer, again, unfortunately it is sold, but we can build you one just like it, or we can make any type of changes you want uh, to an existing order, or just go ahead and custom order you something in. So again, it's a 2022 Cimarron North Star Three Horse Gooseneck. Stock number is 5N211222. So give us a call. Anybody on the sales team can help you out here. That number is 303-684-3400. We appreciate you tuning in. Have a good day.